up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 49 of our Pokemon Platinum Severely Randomized Nuzlocke. Last time, we were here in Sunny Shore, and we decided to start taking on the 8th gym, and... Hello? 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 Uh-huh. Ooh, car's warranty. Oh, that stinks. Oh, well, thank you. So anyway, last time we were, uh, we decided to take on the 8th gym, and unfortunately, one of our elite squad members fell. Today, we're going to be finishing up the 8th gym, and we do have Neighbor here. He's hanging out. You can't see him, but Whoa. he's off to the side. You might hear him if he decides to chime in. If you do enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. Let's get to it with the team recap. I did cha train everyone up to level 50 because... We just suffered the worst loss of the series, and I'm not down to, to lose anymore. But we have Nadia, the last remaining member of our elite squad, the level 50 Poison Normal type Palkia, holding the Choice Band, Bashful Nature with Flash Fire, with Cross Poison, Body Slam, Rock Climb, and Fly. Next we have Friar, the indestructible level 50 water fighting type Rapidash, holding the wide lens with Lax Nature, own tempo with Octazooka Rock Smash, Spore, and Confuse Ray. I taught it Rock Smash in the in my in the grinding montage uh, because it is stab, and now I don't have a fighting type. Then we have Jaya, the god, our level 50 grass steel type Arceus, holding the iron plate, quiet nature with shell armor. With Iron Head, Seed Bomb, Thunder Fang, and Leech Seed. We have Savan, our level 50 Water Type Mew, holding a Splash Plate, Relax Nature with Soundproof, with Bubble Beam, Giga Drain, Hydro Cannon, and Seed Flare. We have Aoid, our level 51 Flying Psychic Type Breloom that we picked up in the last episode, holding the Mind Plate, Hasty Nature with Filter, with Psychic, Fly, Return, and Seed Flare. And then the newest one that we picked up is Kree, our level 50 ground fire type Zatu, holding the flame plate, modest nature with vital spirit. Even though he's modest nature, attack stat is way higher. So we have, oh, I did not reorder these. We have fire punch, payback, surf, and toxic. That's the team that we're rocking with. I'm gonna lead Savan who, even at level 50, only has 97 hit points. Now, the question of the day for today, and Neighbor, I'm gonna ask you this one as well. Today, we're about to take on the eighth gym leader. I wanna know who you think the strongest eighth gym leader across all of the Pokemon world is. So, we have Giovanni slash uh, Blue. We have Claire. Um, there's Wallace slash Juan, there's Volkner, and then you gotta help me out with 5th gen. Oh god, 5th gen, 5th gen last gym leader was two different gym leaders, it's either... Oh, that's right, it's either, either Iris or, or, or uh, Drayden. uh, what's his Dr name? Drayden? Drayden? I, I think. Drake? No, Drake is the... The Elite Four member. You know, people don't like how much I talk bad about... Oh, wait, I still have trainers to take on, don't I? Anyway, people don't like how, how much... How bad I talk about 5th gen. Apparently just... there's, like... Very little difference between Drayden and Iris' team. It's like the same team, but the abilities are different. Oh. Um, and then in 6th gen, we have, um... Wolfric, oh, and then in seventh gen we have uh, what? That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Uh, oh my gosh, this guy's this trainer's Pokemon are level fifty, and all we did was grind up to level fifty. Oh no! <laughs> and our Mew just one shot on a not very effective. What's not very effective? Oh, my code's on. <laughs> Well, Mew just grew an extra level. I apologize about that. And he sends out an unknown. Okay, so who do we think the strongest eighth? Am gonna I gonna die? Oh no. Okay, that's no, fine. Okay. I'm gonna work backwards and go with ones I know are not the strongest. Okay. 
So let's start with Gen 1. Immediately, I think Giovanni is not the strongest. Well, that's because you get a water type and you run through his team easily. Even if you don't, fun fact, you can catch a level 3 Pidgey right outside that gym and use it to take down his Doug Trio, because his Doug Trio knows exclusively ground type moves. Mm. He did not think his team grew very well. Did I turn the cheat off? Okay. Uh, <laughs> when I do grinding, mm. I put on a code, because I just don't have time. <laughs> you gotta save time. But I don't think Giovanni's the strongest. He is way too exploitable. Blue might be a big contender because he's not a traditional gym leader. He actually has a strong squad of a very balanced squad. He's always got a good fire, water, grass core. Not easy to break. I'll come back to him because I'm not sure. Uh, Gen 2. Gen 2 clear? Yes, Gen 2 is clear. I feel like... Um, yeah, dragons aren't actually that difficult to take down in a single player scenario. As long as you are prepared enough. I'm struggling with this puzzle for some reason. Honestly, this puzzle was... Wait, what am I doing? I spent so much time on this puzzle. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I can do this. Um, I can do this, I can do this. Hold on. You gotta believe in yourself. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna run- WAIT! Oh. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna run this way. Okay. Um, uh. Alright. You wanna know what- No, Giovanni I'll figure it out! You sure? Yes. Yeah, that's what got <laughs> me as a kid too, is I was like, there's electricity, I can't run through I, it! Well, cause I just ran into it a second ago. But anyway, um, so what did we say? We said Giovanni's not. Yeah. We said Blue might be. I don't think Claire is. You don't think Claire is? Well, Claire's a crybaby. Her yeah. Kingdra is a big struggle. What does her being a crybaby have to do with anything? I'm just saying. Her Kingdra is really, really difficult. I love hearing Mew hit the field. Drill Peck? Well, goodbye. Uh, you know, Water is a really good type to have be your monotype. I feel like, uh, Juan, and what is the other one? Mew is o code everything I've fought so far. With Juan. Bubble Beam. The guy who's not one. Uh, Wallace. Oh, dude, Wallace is way harder than one. For obvious I, I'm, I'm a little terrified. Uh, wait, I had a Kangaskhan at one point. I think it is Electric type. We out. Oh god. We out, we out, we out. Uh ooh, ooh! Speaking of it is electric type, here goes our new team member, Cree! Let's go, Cree! Mm. Now, most of my team members have dual stab. Cree is not one of those. I could I only had fire punch, it couldn't learn earth power. Uh and of course on twin needle you get the poison. I think twin needle's got a decent chance to poison. I think it's like it was the first it was the first hit of Twin Needle that got me. I think it's like 30. Oh wait, this is a trainer happening. battle. What the heck am I doing not speeding up? <laughs> uh I'm gonna use this full restore. Alright, go for that horn attack again, because I'm going payback. Hayata! Do it again. You're gone. I am terrified of this gym battle. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, now what am I supposed to do here? I honestly don't remember Voltaire very well uh, from a casual playthrough perspective. I haven't replayed through these games very much, but I know that the last time I played through, I had a Garchomp on my game. So, it was not very hard. But Electro-type is also a really good monotype. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, I, I really have no clue. Again, I don't think dragons are that difficult, especially... I mean, Haxorus is rough when he gets that dragon dance on. Oh! I'm smart! <sighs> he's gonna blow my team away. <laughs> I just know he's going to. I should just put Nadia up front and let Oko's reign. Alright, um... Count. 
Technically, he's the 16th gym leader. That counts. I would probably say blue, then. It's probably gotta be blue. Just on account of him, you know, kind of cheating the rules and having a full squad that's not... You know, you can't build one Mon specifically to take him down. I guess. I guess Claire would probably be the next. I feel like after him, it would either be Wallace or maybe Volkner. I don't remember Volkner that well, though. All right, here goes Volkner. All right, Challenger. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. But they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. <sighs> I'm Volkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but anyway, I guess we better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who'll make me remember how fun it is to battle. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. We're not going to lose to a guy that's sitting... Okay, he stood up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I forgot I switched into Aoid. Uh, this is a dark fighting type, so I'm going to hit you with the fly. Spark, lol. I'm so glad it didn't leave Mew in. <laughs> my my water type Mew with 97 hit points. <laughs> That's so sad at level 50 having 97 hit points. And of course, you know what he got on the first on the first Spark? Paralysis. Yeah. Because well, I guess Spark. I feel like Spark's one of the ones that it makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um. You're using Spark, so I'm gonna switch back to Kree. Let's go, Kree. I feel like after Scald came out, I noticed so many more moves that had 30% chance, whatever. I was like, wow, that's like Scald, but worse. Because they're all like weaker moves. Right. Bullet Seed's gonna, t animation's gonna take forever, so I'm gonna speed through that. I love that my speed up button is just on the end of my Joy-Con, so I can just, sm I can just mash it whenever. All right. This Lapras is probably going to go down in a second. Oh, he's probably going to heal it. That's okay. Use your healing. Use your healing now. I'm speeding through the rest of his hit points. How much uh, BP does Fire Punch him? Right, I'm using Payback. Payback should kill. Okay. Or maybe I should be intelligent and know that... I do know that Lapras is dark fighting type. So I feel like if I know that, I probably should... His ace is a freaking Registeel. Do you know what type Registeel is? I don't have a clue. We're gonna fight. He just dove! Against my ground fire type! Get out of there! Oh my god! <laughs> Get out of there! Alright, we're gonna go. That's some intelligent ace. I'm gonna go into the god. Here we go. Well, yeah, they know the, the types. They know all the types. Use dive. What are you doing to my Arceus? Oh you my did god. eight. You did eight damage. Hold this. Ah, hold this leech. Nah, hold this iron head. Hitting a Registeel with an iron head. Not very effective. Things that resist steel are not that bad. Okay, I, I knew that was going to be super effective. I'm grass steel type. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and leech seed. <laughs> <laughs> you were worried. You know, when I set up the when I set up the settings to have similar strength mons, this is what I was hoping for. For our last gym leader to have something splash. like a freaking Reggie Steel. No, not splash. <laughs> I was gonna say. He just splashed twice in a row, so this this battle's gonna be free. I feel like he's still steel type. Just I feel like he's not. <laughs> definitely not. What resists steel that is weak to grass? Am I a dummy? He might be a dual type. He has an Octillery. Uh, I had an Octillery at one point. Should I be nervous? Nah, Jaya can take any hit. Jaya can take any hit. Oh my god, that health is like... Hello? Aurora Beam. I mean, that would be... Because that's Ice type, right? That would be super effective, except I'm... Grass Steel, which is a great typing really until is. someone uses Sacred Fire. Yeah. And then... <laughs> which, if this was Emerald... <laughs> or you, you, I mean, you wouldn't still have Arceus. You'd be dead. Every Pokemon in Emerald had Sacred Fire. Every Pokemon in our Emerald playthrough had Sacred Fire. If you haven't, check out the, uh... If he crits me, do I die? 
No, um, my name is Jaya. My name is Jaya. Ah, uh, you full restored, you jerk. All right, I'm switching out. I'm switching out. Um, he's using Aurora Beam. I'm just gonna go Friar. What you gonna do against Friar? I think Friar might be the next one to get put onto the Elite Squad. Cause I've had this Rapid Ash for a while. Look at that. There's nothing. That's why we call it Rapid Ash or uh, Friar the Indestructible. That's a pretty amazing type. Look at this. Look at this. That's why we gave it. Yeah, this this is a. Rock That's Smash why we is, gave it Rock Smash. Rock Smash is not a strong move either. Stab. Yeah. Technician. Technician. I, have technician. I, I was have gonna technician. say. All right, Torterra is the last mine. <gasps> My trump card with drizzle. <laughs> you just drizzled against the wall. Okay. This is why you have a wide lens, Friar. You used to miss everything all the time. So I gave you a wide lens. Doesn't Octazooka have like 50% accuracy? I have a wide lens! What does that make it? Like 70 at most? He just rock polished. <laughs> uh, I would be concerned. Nah, he ain't gonna frenzy plant me. Karate chop, karate chop me all you want. Oh. <laughs> he said, alright, how about this crit? Watch that help. God. Yeah, that's how we do it. That is the team has been reborn. I feel like my webcam is has been off center the entire episode, and I could have used clues that anyway. You got me beat. You're just silent. And no oh, okay, or cool. Just skip through the text. Whatever, Volkner. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha That was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. It's also, it's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. Yes! Yes! The beacon badge! Yes! I feel like that should go to Jasmine. What was Jasmine's badge? Not a clue, but I agree. Jasmine should death. Well, I mean, there's, this is the lighthouse town, right? And Jasmine's kind of... Anyway... Slight spoilers to those that haven't, uh, Jasmine... Isn't that why you can find Jasmine on, in this city? Because her and, uh, Volkner are... Animals? ...dating. Is that, is that a canon thing? I don't think so. Um, well, I'll find out Isn't in the next she, like, episode. 10? What? Jasmine, like, 10? Jasmine is... She looks young. Maybe not, like, 10. I don't know. Uh, a, a young teenager. She didn't know what the name of her gym badge is. Oh, right. Mineral badge. badge. That beacon badge lets you use the hidden move waterfall. I don't need to know any of these things. Thank you. TM57 contains tackle. You know what? How about oh, you just God. go jump off of a... <laughs> off of a diving board and into the pool. For a wonderful time of relaxing. I am super excited that we managed to win that. That was... I was stressed. We just lost one of our teammates in the last episode, but I think our team has been reborn. Speaking of reborn, you should check out that series too. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, next we head off to the Elite Four to finish. And this is just a super side note. Once Pokemon Platinum is over, we will not be journeying to Unova anytime soon. But we're gonna go ahead and save and wrap up there. I think we decided that Blue is obviously the best if you count him. If not, it's either Volkner or I. I would probably say it's I'd probably say Wallace. Uh, Wallace, because he's got uh, he's the kind of and that Milotic is yeah the Milotic's strong and he's got like you remember do you remember Pikachu versus Milotic in the anime anime no. that was a great battle. I feel like um, Water Monotype is just like the type to make you not take it down with one right, right. specialized mon. Like you got your electric type and your grass type right. and maybe a fighting type. Take down the ice. Oh, okay. Ice bits. I was very confused. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Today we took on Volkner for our eighth and final gym badge of Sinnoh. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. Thank you for checking out the video. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.